What's up, everybody? Welcome to Pittsburgh. This is Anthony, and with me, as always, I have my co-host, Nate. You know that. <laughs> and uh, we are here for the best morning show on the YouTubes. And mm -hmm. as you can tell, I forgot to put down my green screen. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? First with us is Paul, Gate City Picker. Appreciate you being here, Paul. Uh, really glad you're able to make it, my man. Got Johnny, Cajun Roots reseller. Uh, Broski Point goes to Paul, by the way, Nate. You got it. We got Ray Sandaller in the house. Good to see you, Ray. We have Simply Dana. Appreciate you being here, Dana. Good morning to you. What up, Chris? Got Cajun reseller in the house. Got Mel, Calsylvania reseller. Appreciate you being here, Mel, as always. Got the man Justin Jacobs in the house. What's going on, Justin? Great to see you, my man. Tailgaters. Just so you guys know, as far as like the tailgating goes, me and Nate were talking over the weekend, and we think we're gonna try to work on something like for tailgating before the show. I think that'd be super cool. Uh, whether it's like some kind of like premierish type thing beforehand or something. Uh, to make it like a real tailgate, I think that'd be kind of cool. Who did you say was frozen again? I'm just double checking. Paul Gate City. Okay. Uh, Nikki P in the house. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Myra's here. Good morning, Myra. Appreciate you being here as well, as always. Tracy's in the house. What is up? Keys flips. We have Kelly, the Econ Mom Ward. <laughs> <laughs> the master of the roundhouse kick. Hiya. Uh, followed up by DC Cells, who happens to be the master of the license plate. Which, by the way, I finally just remembered to send her my photo. I remember. Uh, it's been how long now? Probably like two weeks, but hey. Good morning, Michelle. I appreciate you being here. What up, Glenn? Good to see you, man. Appreciate you being here. Up, Craig? Good to see you, man. Land Shark. He's asking what Zion card did I pull? Um, the most see. epic one ever. Yeah, it was that, that the beard called. Oh, hard to see, but yeah, I looked up comps on, and it's uh, there. There were some solds between two fifty and three hundred on it, like as is. I'm missing oh. the PSA. It should go up to like. Between eight hundred and a thousand, then. Yeah, definitely, 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 definitely do that. Yeah, for sure. Shane in the house. What's going on, Shane? Good to see you, man. Got the thrifting Goomba. What's going on, my man? What up? Uh, show with um, John from Nevermore Antiques, and he does one with. Uh, I'm trying to think who who else is on there? Oscar, uh, El Cuban also. Yeah. So they just started a new show. So check them out, guys, if you haven't. If you want to drop links to it or anything, uh, Michael, you can. Morning, Veronica. Cherry picker in the house. Appreciate you being here. Yep, Nikki T says cards are on fire right now. Yep. Every one of Rev's videos, he's just like making it rain with cards. Like cards are like pretty much the reason like my eBay was like blowing up all weekend. Like that that like drove the activity that like I needed to like make some really good sales. I'll probably record a video later for tomorrow um, of like all the stuff that like went out. What's up, Wendy? Good to see you. FGS in the house. Morning, KJ. I love those black and yellow hearts. It's awesome. You know it. So that's when you know you're from Pittsburgh. Get my black and yellow. We're from the Berg. <laughs> Where what did else? it come from? That's, that's one of my favorite old school songs. <laughs> Dude, I just had you sing that in the vlog the other day. Yeah, definitely. The, like, back, that backstage view, and you're getting hyped up for the show. Yeah, 
that would be a uh, exclusive. You should have seen Nate today. He was back there like B Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, you come on board to that. It sells on five or six platforms today. Or platforms I sell on over the weekend. That's awesome. I love weekends like that where just everything's just clicking. Morning, Harlan. Good to see you. What up? I think for the draft picks uh, occasion, I think a lot of it just depends on which ones you have and whatnot. I, I've been uh, seeing like the Joe Burrows and the Tua's and like that kind of stuff fly. Oh, nice. They found a numbered King James. That's what's up. Nice. Hey, what's up, January House? Appreciate you being here. Definitely uh, welcome and glad you're here. Thanks for being part of the Ecom crew. <laughs> Paul wants me to send uh, the box he ordered uh, for me last night to Nate first so he can rub some of the beard on it. Get some of that Zion luck. A little bit of that line tamer on there. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen the live stream we did last night when we were opening the cards, I was like, I'm not going to stop opening these until I get a Zion or a John Morant. And then Nate starts line tamering his beard and like he sprinkles beard dust all over it. And then boom, Zion pops out. I was uh, like, you got to switch how you open the cards. I was like, got to, got to, uh, what did I say? Got to, got to, some bunch. Style up to watch the money pile up, and then uh, next you know, it was like Zion. Yep, yeah, it was sick. Nice. Mel's got a green screen and a webcam on the way for live streams. Not really sure what happened. There you go. There you go. That's what's up. Kelly got five of six. She has sales on five of six platforms over the weekend. That's awesome. Yeah, I have, I think, on three platforms. I don't think I have anything going on on Poshmark, but I have several going out on eBay, several going out on Amazon, and several going out on Macari. Yeah, so. I, have, uh, I sold uh, 10 vintage uh, Dick Tracy figures. Oh, did you list those? Yeah, they sold. Yeah, I remember I told you? They sold. Uh, I had them up for $54.99 plus shipping. They ended up selling for $49.99 uh, plus shipping. And then um, what was the other thing I sold? I can't remember what, what the other one was. Let's have to look. I sold something else on eBay too. Yeah. Dude, okay. I sold a ton of stuff, man. Like it, it was a fantastic weekend for me, sales wise. Let's see what the other one was. The other one was. Macari. I can't remember. No, that was March for Phil. The other one was from Friday, so that went out. March for Phil? Yeah, I have, I have several March for Phil's going out. Yeah, the March for Phil's kind of died out, but I stopped sourcing, basically. So, yeah, the stuff that I have in stock, I'm going to um, pretty much send in FBA as soon as I stop being lazy about it. It's like I, I work hard on one platform, then I switch and work the other one, and the other one just dies. So I can't ever yeah. like get both going at the same time. I feel better now. Felt naked without my uh, Mr. Burns background. What up, Jody? Good to see you, my man. Hope everything's going well for you over there in Canada. What up, Jody? Jody's the man. If you guys uh, aren't subbed to him or Thrift BCQ or to Cliff, you guys need to. Check them out. They do a Canadian resellers roundtable uh, every Tuesday night. So tomorrow night. Hi. Right, so January House is from Central PA. What what part of Central PA? That's awesome. I love seeing PA people jumping in. New people are, is always awesome, but people have from PA as well is just double awesome. Yep. Dan M. Dan M. The IT man in the house. Good to see you. Says good morning. Hope no one has a case of the Mondays. That's the nice thing about reselling full time is like there's really no such thing as the Mondays. All that Monday means is that I have a lot more packages that I need to send out. So that's 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 a nice thing in regards to that. Yeah, 
in saying that Aaron Best Offer Queen will be a guest host with Uncle B today at 1 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. You guys definitely want to check that out. That's the Mile High Treasure Hunter show that uh, Uncle B and uh, Stroke of Luck do. Really good show. You want to check that out. Highly suggested. Shane Rouse said Mechanicsburg, PA, just south of Harrisburg. I know where that is. Yeah, I've been there before. I've heard of it. I've I've been, definitely been towards Harrisburg, but yeah, I went to a uh, convention out that way before. Uh, KJ uh, says her posh did great this weekend. That's awesome. See, I, I don't share enough on posh. I, I've listed some stuff to posh recently, and that drove like a sale or two. But for the most part, like I don't, I don't go in and I don't share a whole lot. So that I think that hurts me as far as posh goes. Um, I'm just so busy with like eBay and Amazon and Macari and trying to keep that stuff going that posh kind of just falls down by the wayside for me. A lot of times my wife does way better on posh than I do. Uh, what's up, Christina? Good morning to you. Appreciate you being here. Good morning. Uh, the one and the only Ciosa sales. What's up, Lisa? Good morning to you. Always wonderful to see your face. There you go. He says, holy cow, Dookie. Yeah, I just got my first Google check. That's what I'm up, dude. Make that money. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> See, so question on Amazon. Uh, Tracy says, found a couple items I can list for certain manufacturers. Some items same manufacturer can't list is this a normal thing yeah some things are just they're locked down and gated because they could be tied to a certain category uh or sometimes they'll have products in the wrong category so you just have to really make sure when you're doing amazon research like you're scanning and and going through stuff it's like you know if you scan something it should be a toy and it's not in a toys category say it's in like a home category then you probably don't want to list on that one. There's probably another listing or something of that nature. So just be very careful doing that because if you do send it out, uh, what will happen is it will get there. Chances are Amazon will be like, yeah, this, this isn't where it belongs. And then they'll gate you, and then you have to waste 50 cents on each item and get it sent back. Or worst case scenario, you just tell them to pitch it, and it's 15 cents an item. So I love that it's only 50 cents to get stuff called back. It is crazy that I, I've that. purposely gotten stuff called back because I found like a better way to sell it before. Like I just, I just had a, uh, I don't remember what it was, but they let me send it in, and it's it's a Nintendo branded, right? It's for it's like headsets for like the DS, like the 3DS or whatever, and they let me send it in, and then once I got it there, they're like. Uh, yeah, you can't sell this. <laughs> so I just pulled it back. I think I'm going to put it in our auction when we do it on the 7th. But it's crazy. Sometimes they'll let you send stuff in and then, boom, like they get you on it. Yeah. What's up, Freddie? Good to see you, man. Soon to be Pittsburgher. Uh, any word on the uh, uh, Pitt interview or anything? in the house. What's up, man? What up, Lobster? He's coming on the uh, uh, auction with us, isn't he, Nate? Yeah. One of our guests? Yep. Lobster, I think Lex, Max, Gary, and who else? Uh, Bill Stoner. I think there's one more, maybe, I think. I, I'm having a case of the Mondays. You are having some Mondays, huh? Yep. You go see Mr. Burns, unfortunately. No! <laughs> Yeah, Harlan says that just shows how cheap Amazon's getting their shipping. That's right. It's that they're probably like I, their deals that they have set up with uh, U, uh, UPS. They've got to be insane, insane. For sure. Um, yeah, Jody saying even sharing um, the closet, you know, once per day or every second day would make a huge difference in sales. Yeah, and honestly, there's sometimes I don't even share once a week. So, like, that's probably why I have no sales at all. I haven't. Oh. 
listed anything new in my box. I don't even know if I have any good items in there anymore. I, I list new to Posh every month just because I can do it through Vendu like really quick and easy. But that's literally the only reason I'm still listing there is because Vendu lets me do it easy. Paul dropped a link to help get Mel to 200 subs. Where are you at, Mel? I know you just hit 100, so dang, you must be blowing up over there. Good for you. Really happy to hear that. Edmund says, I'm trying to call back some stuff, trying to get my IPI up. Mine's been rising as time is going, luckily. That's what's up, man. Keep me posted, man. I'll keep uh, praying that she gets it. That'd be pretty awesome. Thanks for sharing uh, people's link, Paul. I appreciate it. When he said, have you seen Trump's not wanting to help out the USPS until they up their cost to Amazon? Why, why would they do that? I have no idea. I didn't uh, I didn't see anything about it. Like the only person that would hurt would be the the smaller resellers like us doing merch for Phil and and you got um, your catcher's mitt? So I'm about to throw it to you, Nate. You ready? Oh my G. What up? Good morning, Paul. Appreciate you being here, man. Thanks so much. Yeah, because they ship everything else, you know, through UPS. So everything that w they would send or, you know, raise the cost for UP USPS, it's only going to hurt us, you know what I mean, as resellers. Mel's saying that she's having some trouble getting her pre-recorded videos opened on her computer from her phone to her computer. What you can do, Mel, um, that would make this like so much easier for you. Um, there's an app that I just started using that is awesome for editing. Um, I learned about it from Justin at Crime Signs. Um, it's called Video Shop, and it's that little orange one right there. If you download that, um, it'll make it so easy. You can literally go through and pick all the clips you want. You can put words and pictures up, like all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, and then you can upload it right from that app to uh, YouTube. And it lets you put in all your tags and create your thumbnail and all that stuff right in the app. So if you want to download that app, um, you might not even have to use the computer because it literally makes editing so easy. So give it a try might help out yeah, if, you have a, if you have an apple iMovies on your phone too that's a that's free to use when he's a, I don't thank know. you so much for being here appreciate it so that the uh, in the house if they don't raise the prices or whatever that usps won't get any bailout money or whatever gotcha crazy I'm wondering why they even need it though. They've been operating this whole time, so it's like you'd think that they'd still be okay financially. Well, I guess from what I, like I haven't really followed their profit lo you know losses. In, yeah. You know, but um, from what Harlan was saying, they lose like a ton of money every year, which I I don't understand how because they're making they got to be making good money on packaging, especially stuff getting dropped off to the post office. Yeah. My, my kids are oh, <laughs> this morning. Yeah. They're all hopped up on Mountain Dew. <laughs> they're hardly saying the, the pensions. Yeah, maybe that's the case. I don't I'm not hundred percent sure, but it's it just the amount of money that they charge to anybody that doesn't resell and print their own labels and stuff like that is insane. Like I, I walked in the post office. I seen someone with a box that was like literally like this big. Thank you, Jody. I don't know where it was going, but I know it was a little bit heavy. And that thing was like fifteen dollars to send out. I'm like, that could have went to Cubic for like eight dollars. Just the reseller man, it was instantly like, there's no way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, they pre funded all the employee or uh, gotcha. Yeah, see, I, I don't pay attention to a lot of that stuff, and that's probably not wise. I just, I just don't. I'm just being transparent about it. Yeah, the 
the Canada Post and stuff like that. That it's crazy for what you know China's being able to sell products in the United States and not have to pay really you know that much money at all. Like they're able to sell two dollar items. <laughs> if we sold a two dollar item free shipping, we'd lose a, lose our shirt. Uncle B's in the house. Nate, you need to send me that picture. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's like the greatest picture ever. If you guys, if you guys have seen it on Nate's channel, soon to be coming to mine. <laughs> but yeah, this is Uncle B. He's the one who has to show at one p.m. If you guys aren't subscribed to him, make sure you go uh, show him some love. He is a really awesome channel. I think you guys will like it a lot. There you go. Thanks, man. Nate just. Uh enriched the uh, show so much more with, <laughs> with the sending of this picture. <laughs> yeah, it's, oh God, just looking at it makes me happy. Like It's crazy. They can send like two, two, three pound packages for like nothing. Like literally like like a penny or something like that. It's something ridiculously low and we're sitting here paying tonnage just to ship out to, to like uh, Canada or anywhere else. Like it's mm -hmm. crazy. All right, so the uh, topic I kind of wanted to discuss today, and I think this would be a really good. Um, okay, cool, Cal, or male, I should say, Cal slash male. <laughs> um, the topic I wanted to discuss today was um, items that are surprisingly valuable. Um, I think that's something good to discuss, especially the, in this time that we're in because of you know, just the way that um, sourcing is so limited and we're not able to get out and do the things we normally do. So like, what are some items that you guys have found that are either readily available right now or, you know, even items that once like garage sales and thrift stores and stuff like that come back that you guys think are surprisingly valuable that, that other resellers should look out for? Do you uh, have anything, Nate, that just off the top of your head that? I mean, definitely anything video game related. If you're sourcing, and you get a normal price for it. What normally goes for, like that Rock Band setup, I I had crazy amount of money. Like, I yeah. bought a whole box of games and and um, uh, controllers and the Rock Band and like all the stuff for the Rock Band. Sold the Rock Band for two hundred plus shipping. Sold the, the three controllers for, for about 15 plus shipping, and then I sold two or three games on Amazon for I think I think I sold three games for sixty dollars, so that was probably like eight dollars profit on each of those. So it was just really, you know, KD says the same thing games, yeah. I mean, that it's crazy what they're going for, like anything game related, you know, like. It's almost like people seeing this coming or something because I, I saw a raise in the pricing of like where people are willing to like buy or bid or you know anything and I'm like wow that's a little bit high but man now they're they're swimming in profits which is awesome so sometimes like just having that outlook of the future you know what I mean trying to look and adapt and, and figure out what's next that's like the way you have to almost try and do things sometimes to really strike it you know really good because you're trying to judge something on your outlook versus a short, a for sure thing, which then everyone will be going after. Yeah. I've heard this from so many people, parts to kitchen appliances do really, really well. And uh, I've never dealt with them yet, but um, I've, I've heard a lot of people like, for example, um, even if you dumpster dive and you find like a broken cure egg, there's like pieces of that you can pull off and sell, you know what I mean? Or, like any kind of, uh, you know, item like that. Definitely. And the crazy thing is they go for decent money too. That's a real good bolo. Another good one here. Oxygen meters and blood pressure cuffs. Yep. I, uh, I've sold a few blood pressure cuffs. Um, I had a couple, uh, given to me that Ash's Graham, like she gets a whole bunch of free stuff. Like just, I guess like, through Medicaid or Medicare, I don't know, some kind of like old people program she's in. 
and uh, she just like literally because she can gets like everything that they can possibly give her, <laughs> even though she doesn't need it. So then she ends up just getting too much stuff and giving it to me, and I sell it on eBay. So yeah, I've, I've pulled the blood blood pressure cuffs in you know, the machines for blood pressure. I got one from the bins. It was brand new in a box. I tested just to be safe, just because I got it from the bins. And uh, yeah. I think I got either 25 or 30 plus shipping, or maybe it was 23 plus shipping. I know it was like $30 when it was all said and done, something like that. So I think the one I sold was like 50 but it was like one of the talking ones. Oh, okay. Like all digital and stuff like that, and it was like brand new sealed. Um, Uncle B says Mega Blocks. I'm going to get mine, but I'm going to keep going through yours. But, I mean, mine can just be found sitting at Walmart. Like, it's insane. Like, this little box right here doesn't even have to be opened. And you can buy it for $20 and sell it on eBay for 60 Like, quick and fast. <laughs> like, it, it's insane. And then you open it up, and like you guys saw yesterday, I found a $250 to $300 card. You know, so, like, any basketball cards you can find, you don't even have to open them. Like it's the easiest listing. You just scan the box, take a couple pictures, post it, boom, they sell. Um, and that goes for like other sets too. But basketball is really hot right now because of Zion Williamson. So um, anything Zion, Ja Moran, or anything like that, you can find anything that has them in it. Pick it up; it'll sell fast. And normally for at least double to triple what you paid for it especially in the better sets, but this is brand new. This just came out on the 24th. So if you can find it, plus uh, the reason this one's really expensive is because of the rarity of the set. Um, when COVID went down, they, they had printed half of it. They sent half of it out to like, I think MJ holding company who like sources to like Walmarts and stuff like that. And the other half of it is still at Panini and they're shut down due to Corona. So there's so many places like in this country and in the world that that is not getting that because of COVID. Seeing uh, Kelly call my word say something about homes homeschooling supplies. Definitely, definitely, definitely a good one. Yeah, I mean, everyone's, all their kids are home, and some people are just like, you know, I'm not going to do their program, I'm do my own program since they're home with me now. And uh, they're looking for anything that could be close to, you know, their grade level or maybe even higher for mm -hmm. people that have, like, uh, you know, kids that are above the grade level. So, um, you know, if you're going out and you're finding, like, different, like, learning books and stuff like that, definitely call them, check them out, because you literally might have a gold mine because just anything homeschooling is, is through the roof right now. Yep, for sure. Um, Lisa saying, do you think that that kind of stuff is still going to be in demand once, uh, you know, people are allowed to go back out and things open back up? Or do you think it'd be more outdoor stuff? I, I would say it depends on the time of year, whenever we're back out there. I, I'd like to think it would be soon, like in May sometime, but, um, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I think video games and like cards like that and some of the stuff that we've mentioned is going to always be in demand but will the prices be as fluctuated as they are now i don't know you know and that that's the that's the great thing about reselling is if, if you're adaptive to your environment you can always do well regardless of what's happening in the world you know what i mean you just need to sometimes change what you source a little bit um you know like uh, my a lot of my eBay stock is like way down just because a lot of my sources for it are pretty much closed right now or not happening because of COVID. But, um, you know, I've, I've switched it up and like, I've, I've done better during the pandemic than I did prior to the pandemic. It's insane. <laughs> yeah. I've, probably, I've probably done more business in the pandemic than I did the entire year prior to the pandemic. Yeah. The thing that's crazy is like, like, like Lisa said, like what what stuff's gonna be hot? What stuff's gonna be not? Like, is baseball stuff gonna still be you know in need, or people are gonna just basically skip right over that? Um, you know that season because I mean the the kids have different you know schedules for those type of things. Like for like you know kids in middle school, high school, they're you know during the 
uh, beginning months of the school years in September where, you know, the younger kids are playing while we're, you know, on vacation from school, like when they're on vacation from school. Mm -hmm. And um, the little bit older kids before middle school, I think they kind of are in the middle there. Like they'll go a little bit, you know, during the school year or whatever, but mostly it's off, you know, not during the school year. So like that stuff could honestly just either be a, going out like insane or it can just totally just sit and just be no good until next year but either way that type of stuff always sells good you know what i mean so even if you got it as long as you pay a good, good amount of money where you're like okay this is basically like buying like uh seasonal clearance or something like that you know what i mean now you can you could put that to the side and, and do like that so you don't have to worry about um you know not having that next year that's what makes like having that that stockpile a little bit of, of, of inventory and having a little bit of cash flow, you know, where you're able to like, okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of this, like two hundred dollars of this, and just throw it towards that for next year, and I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna make a lot of money because that might be a lot of the stuff we see at, at the end of garage sale season this year, depending on when we get out of here. A lot of like yeah. sporting baseball stuff where it's like where they didn't play and now they're just getting rid of brand new stuff that they even use. So that would be awesome for us as resellers because, you know, you just take it just like Clarence, uh, seasonal stuff, you know, like Halloween and Valentine's day stuff at Christmas stuff, take it, you hold it. And the next year you got brand new stuff for probably nothing. Yeah. So just keep them on. For sure. Uh, Susie Woozy says shoes are still selling. I sold probably counting what I shipped out. Friday and Saturday, and what I'm shipping out today, probably six pairs of shoes just this weekend. Nice. So it's been it's been a good weekend for shoes. That's for sure. We got Todd the Flippin' Hustler and T's auction for you in the house. What up? What's going on, guys? Appreciate you both being here. Both great channels. You guys yeah. are subscribed to them. Make sure you do. Um, T is like the gold standard, in my opinion, for auctions on youtube right now she is amazing uh her channel's auctions for you her and uh, donatella both do auctions every day so make sure uh, if you guys aren't following them you go show them some love because they're the real deal and todd's just like genuinely one of the nicest human beings you'll ever meet in the world so you definitely want to connect with todd the flipping hustler then we got ll stash what up that's awesome kj she blew through a uh, death pile of vintage board games what's yeah. up you know what's crazy i think i might have sold one board game in this entire pandemic and the rest are just sitting there i'm a, I'm a source like the world's crappiest board games the one like really awesome one i have i lost a piece to it because i accidentally well technically it's the cat's fault i had it sitting on top of that box behind me and he jumped on it and it went flying and a couple pieces fell behind my my uh shelving and I'm too large to fit behind it to get the little piece. So I just took it down and it's like, screw it. <laughs> you know, one day in the, the far distant future, when I move from this house, I will uh, <laughs> resell that Steelers Monopoly. <laughs> we got the Fat Elvis Goods. What up? I see you. We have D. Marcos. What up? And Philly Picker. What up? Good to see you. D always has a show right after us, guys, at noon Eastern. You want to make sure you check that out. Keep the lives rolling all day on this YouTube game. Hey, we got flipping goodies in the house. What am I? Hey, Mike. Good to see you, man. You just said swimming pool accessories. That's a, that's a category I've never even looked into. Yeah, that might be something that really gets, you know. Pushed. Actually, going into the summer, this is a great time for it because everybody's probably going to start, like, I would say probably, like, in the next month. Um getting their polls open for the uh, summer, you know? Well, at least in this, like, part of the world where it was, like, winter cold, you know? I think I've seen someone ask if you're going to get that zone graded or whatever. Or what are you I am, yeah. I'm going to send it in the PSA as soon as they open back up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's what's fun about reselling, like, so that's, that's a good that's a good point kj she said you can break down and sell the pieces i've done that before i actually uh i've done that with several simpsons board games and uh, a lot of the characters uh go really fast whenever you break down like the characters and the little pieces and stuff the people that lose it so yeah that's a good idea grab a piece of sell really good 
you can get scrabbles for like a buck a piece and they have pieces in them people buy extra pieces to make like a harder version of the game i guess or whatever i'm gonna have to uh comp that i didn't even think to look at cans of spam kelly what up crockers lockers what's up john and kimbo appreciate you guys being here you guys are awesome if you haven't checked them out yet there's frank, frank in the easy what up frank a stroke of luck what up what up frank That's what's great about reselling. Like, it's like the stock market. You know when to buy it at its lowest, mm -hmm. and then you you throw it out and put it out there on all the platforms, or you keep it out there all the time, no matter what. So you get it, you just let it sit, yeah. and then all of a sudden, here here it comes, and then you ride that wave in the profits. I, that's yeah. I must enjoy just, I just love sales. I just love it. Like if I could be like a, a major, like salesperson and like a bigger corporation i think that's the only way that i can come close to like liking doing what i do compared to reselling the most yeah for sure it's like the strategy and everything i just love it man what about this what about some items that everybody has sitting around their house right now that have that surprisingly have value like what are some what are some items you guys can think of there um, that literally you could go look through one part of your house and make a sale today? I got a uh, Nintendo Wii bundle. I, <laughs> I'm sure I you did. I literally just posted online last night, and uh, I was talking to Uncle B, and I was like, "Man, what do you think it's going for?" And he's like, "Probably like 200 bucks." The way I had it situated with games and. So yeah. like I was like, what was I thinking? Not listening to this earlier. So, um, yeah, definitely that for sure, hundred percent. Sorry about my doorbell, guys. Uh, the construction on our renovation started today, so there are gonna be people coming out of the house all day. So <laughs> my phone's gonna be going off for that. My busy. But the thing I've been sourcing a lot of, I've been sourcing a lot of shoes lately. So, um, you know, I, I find that getting them for five even ten dollars on some pairs sometimes even more like i bought two pairs for fifty dollars and um you know they're going for a hundred 120 so that would be a double up and those they'll, they'll probably sell really quick too joe has a good point here he says his uh kids old sporting equipment Definitely. stuff was awesome yeah it's gonna it's gonna be a weird weird to see what will go you know sporting goods wise Basketball stuff will definitely sell. Football stuff should definitely sell. Uh, but I don't know about baseball stuff. It just depends on where you're at, like what, what state you're in and what what season you know, it is still or whatever, you know? Yep. That, that was one thing that I went through and did just this weekend. The crazy thing is I, I took five pairs of my shoes that I wasn't wearing anymore. Um, because like I had to take down my whole, like I have a shoe rack downstairs in my house and it's kind of like hype beast esque, you know what I mean? It has like all my J's and all that stuff on it. And I took five pairs that I'm not wearing anymore. And, uh, they, they were kind of stinky or like worn down or dirty or whatever. Uh, I put tea bags in them, stuck them on my porch for a week. Um, then I brought them back in the house, uh, the tea bag and the fresh air, like sucked all of the stink out of them. And then I cleaned them up real good, and I've already sold uh, four out of the five pairs just this weekend. So, you know, there's there's tons of stuff like that we literally just have sitting around our house that we may not have any, um, you know, use for anymore. Like, you know, like for example, those shoes. Like, I was never going to probably wear those again. Like, I have I have several pairs of shoes I haven't even like literally opened yet. You know, so. For me to just go and like pull that stuff and list it on eBay, that was that was like great inventory to like add to what I was doing without even having to leave the house. I feel like everybody has stuff like that, whether it's like a closet, you've just been throwing stuff in for like the longest time, you know, like maybe those like old Christmas presents that like you smiled and said thank you that you really liked, but truthfully you're like, man, this sucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe you have some of that stuff laying around. You can go comp and Let's that up to eBay or maybe even merch fulfill it, you know. Um, but I, I'm a big advocate of, of of tearing through your house like every so often for inventory. You know, that's something that me and Ash do all the time. So Brittany wants to know, were they the doo-doo brown? 
Yeah. Cleveland Cavaliers color shoes. <laughs> no, I don't I don't believe they were the Doo Brown ones. Doo Brown and Cleveland Cavaliers should not go together, Nate. Oh, there you go. Color. Huh? Just color comparison. That's yeah. all. They're more of a wine. Yeah, yeah, definitely a wine. Yeah, that is true, KJ. She said anything could be considered a craft supply. Definitely I've always been ordering stuff for the kids. Like they make like they made me bracelets and I've been wearing them like these uh oh look at Alex spitting some game in there. He says, Look at all these gorgeous resellers in the chat. Hello, hello. Alex rolls up in the chat deep like this. Oh, let me show you how Alex Alex rolls in like what hey, baby. Look at all these gorgeous resellers. I'm about to push my mustache out at you. Little duck fish. <laughs> hey, good morning, Aaron. Appreciate you being here. We we're just telling everybody you're going to be at Uncle B's today. She was on uh, What the Hell was the last night? Yeah, I heard. That's awesome. Yeah, definitely list the shoes if you have them. It's definitely uh, shoes are flying out. I think people are getting ready to get their new shoes to go out back into the world. Yeah, I mean, anything basically for the house, you know what I mean, or, or something that's going to keep kids busy. Puzzles have been really good, and I've sold some uh, good amount of puzzles. Not a lot of used ones. There was a lot of newer ones. So my Amazon. Uh, oh, look, he's in the house. <laughs> you you throw it up and then boom, he appears. LL hey. Dash. What's up, Larry? Good to see you, my man. He was in here a little bit earlier. I said, oh, I was he? I didn't see him. Good to see you, Larry. Got Matt Phoenix slippers in the house. Good to see you, man. What up? Yeah, I can imagine. That's pretty awesome. Alex says, I can tell you from recent experience, what you sell isn't as important as the quantity. Is that quality of quantity of the thing you have? I think eBay prioritizes listings with quantity. Maybe that's common knowledge, but hey. I'm not 100% sure about the quantity part of it, but uh, definitely. Uh, the, the, I know one thing I, I, from... Seeing what Alex was doing, which was selling amazing monster on eBay, which was awesome. Like, if I would find like another hit item, hopefully on Amazon or, or possibly even eBay, hopefully it would be a lot smaller. It wouldn't be as heavy because, man, I was killing myself to bring all that stuff in the house. I hear you there, man. What up, Misha? What up, Misha? Good to see you. Welcome to the best darn morning show on the YouTubes. See, so I say in about uh, three, four, five months, baby stuff will be booming. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. This household, though. This. That sucks, Freddie. He says somebody bought a Fortnite game code, still sealed, opened it, used it. Now eBay approves their return. That's nuts. Hopefully, when you get a hold of them somehow. They'll take care of it and give you know, get your money paid. We had a similar experience with uh, Macari recently. You, you want to share what, kind of what happened with you there? So um, I sold a um, Atari bundle. Had like 29 games, a system. It's a really nice case for it or whatever. And, you know, I sold a Macari. I bought the – I had Macari send me a label and had the buyer pay shipping. Because I was going to save the buyer money and my, you know, just to get the cost down for me to make a little more money. So I ship it to California, which is a 16 by 12 by 8. And it was about 12 pounds or something. I can't remember. Something like that. It would have been a lot more money than what I, you know, charged the buyer or Macari charged the buyer. So I saved the money and shipped it over there. And the buyer opens it up and says, hey, uh, the, uh, the Atari's broken. Um, it looks like, um, UPS basically dropped it on its 
on a on its corner and like shattered the system or whatever. And uh, now I'm dealing with basically um, them not honoring their guarantee of up to two hundred dollars on anything that they send you a label for because uh, I went through UPS and UPS is like Im almost impossible to get a uh, you know basically a return or a insurance claim or whatever you want to call it. They said they needed to have a three inch buffer zone on the box so basically they wanted me to make like a, um like either get like the craft paper make a three inch wall where it's like you know like who's gonna make a three inch wall around the whole box that would that'd be yeah. impossible to ship anything so they didn't honor my um thing because of that so very careful shipping anything out ups especially if it's macari on macari I'll definitely do, uh, you know, um, FedEx or USPS from now on. That's for sure. I've yeah. never had any problems with USPS. I just want to say thank you to Aaron, best offer queen. Um, not only for the super chat, which is super generous, and I really appreciate it. Definitely not necessary, but I, I really appreciate it when you guys do that. Um, she says you're the reason I got on with what the hails with your Facebook group, Ecom Beyond. A million thanks to you guys. I appreciate that so much. And that's the reason me and Nate wanted to have a Facebook group is to be able to help connect the whole community together. And that way we can network and get to know each other and help each other and stuff like that. So if you guys aren't a member of our Facebook group, um, I will go ahead and drop a link for that. Let me go grab it real quick. And uh, then you guys will have it. Uh, Blue Runner, it was through uh, UPS. It wasn't through USPS. And from what Macari said, because it was Macari's label, I couldn't even file a claim at all either. So, Flipping accountants in the house. What is up? Good to see you. Good morning. Appreciate you being here. Uh, the link I just dropped, guys, is the uh, Facebook group. Nice. KJ just joined the group to share Permani promotions. That's awesome. I get I get emailed Permani promotions and I get excited when I get them. They're doing like buy one, get one free sandwiches and pizzas right now, which is awesome. Um, Veronica is trying to get to 200 subscribers. So you guys could go and show the cherry picker some love. I would definitely appreciate it. Yeah, she's starting to come out with content. So that's awesome. Yep. Um, Freddie was asking, could you um, file a claim with USPS, Nate? Yeah, I answered that question. Okay, cool. Um, he says that Rev and her will be on Cali Picker today at 4 Eastern. Make sure you guys tune in for that. That should be really awesome. What up, Just Me, Kathy? Thank you for coming in. Another PA resident. Yep, Kathy is awesome. She's the real deal. Um, Myra said that uh, Grimes Fine is going to be on Flip and Hope with Anthony and Kelly at on Tuesday at 2 p.m. Join us to hear Justin's journey. It's going to be awesome. Grimes is coming to Bible study, guys. If you want to come over to uh, my second channel, Flip and Hope, uh, I have a link to it down below in the description. Uh, you'll get to see Justin on there. I think it'll be really cool. I do that with Hip Flip and Mama every single Tuesday at 2 p.m. And by the time Bible study is over, Mama always has a smile on her face. Put on a happy <laughs> face. <laughs> Good morning, Bill Steiner. Welcome. What's he, up, Bill? Good to see you, man. He has an awesome cache of, of items. He'll be at our auction. Yeah, it's going to be epic. It's really going to be great. There's definitely going to be some good sourcing at the auction, that's for sure. Scooter Renee, what up? Hey, Scooter. Good to see you. Good morning. Let's say what's up to McGuy McGuy. Appreciate you being here. Pretty cool name. What up? Appreciate that, man. Uh, flipping account says I joined the Facebook group last week and it's very friendly and welcoming. Yeah, I've seen you've dropped a few videos in there. That's awesome, man. 
it's always it's always good to know who's creating the content and who's you know that way we know who to support who to you know shout out that kind of stuff so yeah if you guys create content you know uh, posting it in the facebook group is perfectly cool you know we love uh you know being able to see new videos drop and being able to show some love yeah, as as our our show gets bigger as our community gets bigger as we all get bigger as a whole it's just easier to see it on like a facebook thing where you could scroll past and go Whoop, there's a live tomorrow or today or you know pre-recorded coming or whatever so it's nice to have a secondary reminder also like yeah. when stuff's coming out Thank you so much, Jennifer. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Uncle B just said, thanks, my guy, my guy. Now I hate my name. <laughs> yeah, that is a pretty cool name. Uh, oh. The Facebook group name is uh, E Common Beyond, just like the show. I'll redrop the link here for you guys. There you go. It's uh facebook.com slash groups slash ecom and beyond. Yeah, we just recently uh customized the link so this way it's just bang instead of just random numbers and stuff. That that's a really good thing, uh Kelly. We we do this sometimes on uh you know like Ibotta and stuff like that. Um and I know Nate uses like the Rakutan and like a few other stuff, but yeah, I mean for stuff you're already buying, there's things you can do to like earn money off of what you've already bought. So, you know, that's a great way to kind of just stretch your your dime a little bit further during the pandemic and everything like that. You know, because there there's I, I know a lot of resellers, like their their numbers are way up. But then I know some where their numbers are way down and it just has to do with where they're located in the world, uh, what inventory is readily available. You know what I mean? Me, me and Nate are just lucky in a sense that um, we were kind of already kind of built for something like this where we were already kind of um, able to sell like the everyday stuff through Amazon and stuff like that, which makes it super easy just to go to like, you know, your everyday stores like Walmart or Dollar Tree or, you know, wherever and you know, find inventory to sell. Somebody just says, Nate just sold, or Nate sold 73 of those kits I made uh, of the Weed Whacker Leaf Blower and ex uh, Exhausting Three Weeks, but not bad for 7,000, 7,300 in profit on those. Why I bought the awesome, dude. paper tape machine. Yeah, definitely. If I had that, it would make just packaging that much easier because you know how big the box is going to be, especially if you're doing like bulk packing. You know how big of a thing you need. You're not going to have a lot of way, excess ways to do multiple pulls of tape or whatever. Just push a button, whoosh, it shoots out, out and just rip, and then you're good. Mm -hmm. I might have to get one of those as like my shipping in general. Amazon, eBay, Macari, get a little, get them more uh, serious. Yeah, for sure. A lot, like a lot more shipping, probably like. If I had like say ten or fifteen packages going out a day on all the platforms, then I'd probably get something like that for sure. Just because it would be <laughs> save me lots of money. You see, Misha said she said that chime sound happened at the same time Nate had smoke billowing. <laughs> she yeah. thought something magical was about to happen. <laughs> Buff the magical vapor was on e common beyond. D says, uh, weird, I was on sub. Yeah, sometimes YouTube will do that. So anybody who's yeah. down there, look, check and see that subscribe button. And while you're down there, just give it a little thumbs up. We appreciate it. It helps yeah. you get bigger, and then you get more friends to hang out with, tailgate with, and et cetera, et cetera. So we yep. appreciate it. I'm looking forward to it, guys. Like we, we might try this tailgating thing tomorrow, depending on – what's the state of my house because, <laughs> because I, I don't know what's going to happen. Like my cat is so mad at me right now. Cause I have him locked in the basement with me and his foods upstairs because <laughs> they have to come in and out. Cause they're like cutting stuff and you know, all kinds of stuff. So um, yeah, he's, he's pretty mad at me right now. Uh, Goomba says he has a ring too. And he keeps looking at his uh, phone every time mine goes off. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, man. 
but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna look really nice. Um, I probably should have taken video of what it looked like prior, and then showed you what it looks like after. It's gonna be like completely different. It's gonna be way better. Kelly wants to know who's bringing the tailgating snacks. I, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna set Nate up in the morning with like an omelet station. He's just gonna make us all like whatever we want. Don't worry, I have a beard uh, guard, so I won't get any beard in your omelet. <laughs> Mama said, merch fulfilled? You know what? We need to get like a little thing to pop up that says merch fulfilled. I think that'd be cool. Gordina's in the house. Good to see you. I'll Sam's pop. here. Good to see you, Sam. The dapperest of tigers. I'll get something in the works. Oh, that's cool, Paul. He says there's a Chrome extension that supposedly adds the three docks back. It's kind of cool. Billy Picker likes a great tailgate. Me too. I normally just bring like one of them lounge chairs that like fold out and I'll just sit there and stuff my face with food. And then normally before we leave, I'll end up breaking the chair and falling on the ground. <laughs> Do you ever have that happen before, Nate? Um, I don't think so. I Dude, I'll tell you what, like not this last summer, but the summer before I broke probably like five of those things just going to the flea markets. <laughs> the worst is like when you're trying to like lean down to grab a bag or something for a customer and it just snaps and you're like rolling around on the floor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fat guy problems. See what else says the merch field got to be graffiti though. I'll, I'll, see what I, I'll see what I can do. Get her done. Unless, unless you got the skills. I know you got some of that editing skills. Send us a little little draft of what you think. Yep. Yeah, it's like college football, especially down down in the southern states, like Cajun said, like mm -hmm. down Louisiana and stuff. It's amazing. Like even PA here, like it gets cold and people are crazy for tailgating at five degrees, ten degrees, and no shirt on, been drinking since six in the morning. But uh, you know, it's it's amazing time. Steeler games are probably one of the amazing probably one of the most amazing things I probably ever went to, like as a gathering type thing for a sporting event. Yeah. Um yeah, so Scooter, what what happened was I think eBay took them or not eBay. I always mix up eBay and YouTube because I do both so much. Uh YouTube took them away for some reason. So I'm not entirely sure why. Um, but it does suck. But me and Nate always say that uh, everybody's welcome to share links and do whatever in our chats. We don't mind about that. So if there's somebody that you're looking to sub to, you can just say, Hey, can you drop your link or something like that? And they'll either do it or one of the mods will or something like that. I appreciate that. Brittany She says, uh, hit the thumbs up for the best more weekday morning show in the biz. I appreciate that. Yeah. Alex, the 51 resellers up in here, hit that thumbs up or I'll cough. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> yeah, I heard about this. Uh, CS said somebody coughed on the customer service lady at Walmart and they got arrested. That's crazy. Yep. I heard somebody got uh, arrested for spitting in somebody's face, too. Well, spitting is considered uh, aggravated assault or something like that mm -hmm. in that tree of, of uh, fences or whatever because of. You know, being it that it's bodily fluid or whatever, so yeah. they definitely made that a big thing. But uh, I mean, honestly, like I know the pandemic is going on, and coughing is like the last thing you want to do on someone. But if it's a extreme, like by accident, like you just kind of got something stuck in your throat, you cough. Are they really gonna arrest me for that? I hope not. So uh, flipping accountants trying to hit two hundred. Where are you at right now, um, guys? Go show them some love. He's been uh, sharing some videos in the Facebook group too. So if you're in the group, um, you know, make sure you check out some of his stuff. <laughs> Alex just uh, shared fat man does flips on mall trampolines.com. <laughs> Help support my dream. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. <laughs> There's uh, the flipping accountants channel guys. If you want to go check them out. Feel free to show him some love. We definitely want to be uh, supportive and uh, help you guys as much as possible. Let me double check and make sure I'm so. I'm going to double check real quick, too. I'm 
My son is so angry right now. Oh. I don't know what's wrong with him this morning? Apparently, I wasn't. Sorry about that, man. Uh, I'm number 161 on your channel. I think I was so, but I'll, I'll double check right now. So you're getting closer. 163. Billy Rotex says he scored a free PS3 console in games this week. Oh, that's awesome. Big I, one. I, I got that a couple years ago for my cousin, and like I've made tons of money off of it since. Um, he couldn't find the power cord to it, so he was just going to throw it away. And I'm like, you're going to throw away the, the system and all the games because you can't find a power cord. He was like, well, yeah, it's no good to me without a power cord. I said, dude, can I just have it? So he gave it to me, and I went home, and I have a big bag of like video game parts. I had a power cord. <laughs> Plucked it in. It worked fine. <laughs> One thing that's really nice about going to the bins, like you find cords, and it's like, oh, uh, it's a cord. And usually, like if you buy it from the store, it's five, ten dollars, fifteen. Sometimes it's powered. Mm -hmm. Like especially the Xbox ones can be like twenty or so dollars. You know what I mean? Like they can get really crazy, especially having something that big ship. And you going out of the bins, it's like two bucks, one dollar. Like, and then you just saved yourself so much money and got a really good deal on a system because. They didn't have it, and you did so. Yeah, Cajun, I didn't realize you're putting out videos, man. I, I am sub to you, though, so that's good. I thought I was sub to you, but I am. Alex says, I'm subscribed, and I need an accountant too. You pro bono? That's the <laughs> pro bono. Oh, you know, I technically need an accountant as well because <laughs> I need to do my uh, my taxes still for the year. Look, look, the, the flipping accountant got uh, business, uh. Yep. Business out here. Because I think I need to find one too. Yep. He's about to be the uh, entire flipping community's account accountant. <laughs> Occasion uh, reseller. I got a Logitech PS3 controller. What? That'd be great for you to test out the PS3. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's worth a shot. I think I'm all out of PS3 controllers. So, Nate, it's like one of those. <laughs> it's like one of the few things like I have left from uh from the the rock band set basically. I have some games and a switch plug-in controller and then uh that Logitech PS3 one. Nice. Dapper Tiger, what'd you get for your PS3 controller? I'm just trying to see if I maybe sold mine too cheap or something. All mine like sold as soon as I left the house. I didn't expect that. The thing was crazy. If I didn't listen to you, Anthony, I probably wouldn't have sold them that fast because I would have sold all three of them together. Mm -hmm. Just because I thought maybe someone had like one controller and needed multiple controllers and it was a way to save somebody maybe a little bit of money. Sure. So you got more money than me. That's awesome. Congratulations. One thing I guess I should probably tell everybody about is this Saturday at 4 o'clock Eastern, um, me, Nate, and Kelly Hip Flip and Mama, we're all going to be on uh, Johnny Cajun Roots Reseller and uh, Larry LL Stash. They have a uh, collaboration show that they do. So if you guys aren't doing anything uh, Saturday at 4 p.m., uh, definitely come out to uh, Cajun Roots Reseller's channel and uh, check us out. Definitely. A lot of cool people there, a lot of people that uh, support each other. So definitely worth checking out if you guys are free on Saturday. Plus, Mama's going to be there. You never know what Mama's going to say. Mama! <laughs> Nate just channeled Freddy today. You never know. You might uh, you might see that beautiful uh, smile of hers, you know? You know? That could be in your future, guys, if you come over to Cajun Roots channel. Just put on a happy face. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> I feel so much better about my stream yard now that I have that uh, Uncle B picture. Yeah, it's better than mine with the smoke billing out. Somebody just said they just said they're postponing taxes until July. I, I slacked off. I have to pay in. They can't. They they can wait. Just made sense not knowing about the money situation. Definitely. Yeah. 
I'm going to be honest. I, I've only waited not because of money, but because of me um, not really – like I'm procrastinating is basically what I'm trying to get at. Trying trying to just like put it off in the future because I know that I'm not prepared and it's going to suck. So I've just been like pushing it as far into the future as I can. I know that that's not smart, but that's what I've been doing. Yeah, I definitely have to get them done too. I've just been so busy. Like it's either Amazon's kicking my butt or I'm just trying to get eBay going. And I'm starting like a, I'm like, probably like uh, two thirds away done with my reorganize organ organize my basement like just to get it where I needed everything. So that is awesome, D. D says she uploaded her first video, just some pictures with no sound, but it's a start. Absolutely. D, you should download that uh, app I was talking about. Uh, what is it called? Video something. You can actually add sound into Video Shop. You can add, add sound into it real easy and whatever. But yeah, that's awesome. Congratulations. Uh, Flippin' Con says he has some t uh, tax tips for reseller on his channel if you need some motivation. Uh, dude, I'm, I'm literally going to watch that video later on today. And I'll leave you a comment. And then if I forget, remind me in the morning. <laughs> also, uh, remember when the video is over for anything that Anthony puts out or I put out or our morning shows, leave a comment after they're up. Like I said, it could be on something just Anthony by himself, one of his pre-records or his lives by himself or anything like that. And uh, uh, what's, it, what's it called? Uh, oh. You, you get broken. <laughs> Do you see who's back? Uh, v Veronica, yes. I would list that Wii stuff immediately, and I would list it all individually just because I think you'll get more money that way. But look, look who's back in the chat, Mr. Burns. We haven't seen Mr. Burns in what's it been, like a month? Yeah. I, I don't have my uh, YouTube up. Is Mr. Burns still – is he still blue? I don't know. Or is this a new Mr. Burns? So it says, guess who's back? Back again. Burns is back. Tell a friend. <laughs> Missed you, Nate. <laughs> the corona had me down. But I'm back and better than before. Big boy. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Welcome back, Mr. Burns. Good. You're an uh, important Good. part of the show that we've missed for far too long. <laughs> you are there, Mr. Burns. I think a day off is in my future this week. Same with call off Friday or something. You got any uh, updates on Mr. Burns? No, honestly, no. It's Sunday. Sunday, he just rolled by on his little forklift. I worked eight hours on Sunday, so that was a big, uh, you know, plus. I actually get my normal hours for once, but there's still shortness on our breaks because they're like. Like, oh, you're only working five hours. No, I work Hello, Cody. Good to see you. Yeah, no problem. Glad you're here. It's always awesome to see you. What up, Cody? <laughs> Mr. Bird says, Nate, I love how you have my photo all over your videos. I figured you'd like that. <laughs> that is awesome. Welcome back, Mr. Burns. Glad you recovered from that corona. I know with your advancing age, that would probably be uh, a lesser man wouldn't have bounced back. So we yeah. appreciate you bouncing back so that you can make li life miserable for Nate. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it would wipe you out, but you know, boy, <laughs> hey, you got a little. Uh, you know what's funny? He probably just now stopped being timed out from that day when everybody just timed him out for like a century. <laughs> That's probably why we haven't seen him in months. Time out right as war off. He got Steeler stomped out on. <laughs> he did too. It was, like the, it was like the Larry Foot stomp. Yeah, Philly Road Texas green green forklift. It must have been a, a Clark lift truck. Yeah, that's probably the only color I remember. Still had as a green. My dad actually had a green Clark uh, lift truck. Nice. Finally just died on him recently, but I think it was like 30 years old. Really? Yeah, those things lasted forever. It literally wouldn't move anymore. 
Like you put it in gear, like reverse, forward, and it wouldn't move. Yeah, definitely list that rock uh rock band stuff flipping account. You'll make big money on that stuff. Yep. That's all quick too. Put it on Macari if you can too. Yep. Uh, if you do Macari, but do not ship it UPS. Anything but UPS, ship it. Yeah, it literally sold in a day. I had someone make an offer. I think I had mine bundled up for like two forty nine ninety nine plus shipping. Someone offered me two hundred plus shipping. I I kept getting it. I I declined it because it was like only up for a day or a couple hours. And then I got another offer from Macari, same thing. And then I got another one on eBay, like like right at the twenty four hour mark or right before it or whatever. And I was like, you know what? If that's what I'm gonna get on it, I might as well just get it now. I can and just bolt out of there before the you know the craze for it or whatever is over. So that's what I did. I like I said, I made good money on it. I'm happy with that. A dollar in my pocket now is better than not maybe not having that money t- a week from now. If I'm trying to be you know stingy for sure. That's how some of the stuff is right now. Like some of the stuff with the reselling game, kind of what it is. Like the, the market's so like crazy with it. You know, if everything opens up, which it, it won't have a um, huge thing on price, I would say, because like a lot of the stores either have whatever was left of inventory before this closed down, which a lot of it was empty shelves and everything. And, um, you know, unless Walmart's really going to have crazy stock of, of like something you're selling, this prices yeah. are still going to be elevated. I mean, look at switches and and webcams and everything else. Like it's it's crazy what stuff's going for. So yeah. hopefully this uh, this all opens up here shortly. We can get some stuff from good old China rolling back through. <laughs> Never thought I'd say, I want to hear it say that. Yeah, for sure. It's just crazy the amount of like cons- like consumer like electronics and stuff that we have over there. I know. If you look at all the websites, like literally like from my webcam, I looked on every website possible, and there was none. They were all gone. Mister Burns says Pittsburgh. It wasn't the virus I had. It was a month long Corona beer drinking binge <laughs> after being timed out for four weeks by Nate's followers. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Burns. Uh, he, he really needs to clean up his act. And uh, I, I think that you should probably give him like a negative performance review next time. I was wondering why there was lines in your office. A little crown and lime. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't drink beer really. So. What up, Brittany Brands? I hear she got some brands, though. That's what I heard. Brittany, what are, what are what are your favorite brands to sell? If you like are comfortable sharing that information. Give us your top five. Brittany's best brands. Best brands by Brittany. Number one. Number one on the countdown. Actually, I know what number two is going to be. <laughs> Cody says, LOL, the kinds that sell. Yeah, that's my favorite type of brands to sell, too. I sold a Puma shirt this weekend. I don't yeah, sell very much clothing, but when it does sell, I'm really happy because it's the easiest thing to pack. I sold a Puma shirt about a week ago, too. Nice. Puma must be hot out there, guys. Yeah. Two sales right here in the community. Yep. <laughs> Who else sold some Puma shirts this weekend? Sold some Puma. Raise your hand. Stomp your feet. I still got some more Puma, so hopefully Puma does get hot. Let's see. She likes selling jeans. So current, Elliot Frame Torrid Mother Jeans. And the list goes on. Nice. Nice. I don't know that I've ever bought any of those, but then again, like I normally stick to the men's stuff because if if I have women's clothing, I literally have to be on a live or a private working hangout with Hip Flip and Mama, and I have to ask her like what each article of clothing is called and how to look it up. <laughs> Your mom said, I did it with no joke. Yep. 
absolutely. Like I'm terrible at women's clothing, like the terminologies and all that stuff. Like I have some women's clothing listed, but for the most part, most of the women's clothing I left, I just gave to Ashley for her to list in Posh Park. <laughs> nice. Mike sold a Vineyard Vines and a Cinch button-up shirt. Nah. Yeah, Vineyard Vines, I've had good luck with it, and at the same time, I have bad luck with it. It's like a weird, I don't know. I'm going to have to look for some Torrid. That, that that seems like a, a great thing. KJ just said Torrid is flying right now, too. Hey, look, Mama sold a Puma shirt, too. What? It's a conspiracy. It's did, a conspiracy. did the bearded crew just become the Puma crew? What? <laughs> The bearded bunch. That's gonna that's gonna be like our crew, the bearded bunch. Just me, Kathy said uh, her best weekend seller was plush. Awesome, nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I sold some plush this weekend too. Yeah, I sold a uh, Anna and a uh, Elsa plush. Like I had them bundled together. I think I got like 16 bucks for it or something like that. Later, Paul. Have a Take great it day. easy, man. Eat something good for me, man. Your uh, cards will be on the way today, by the way, and I. I included a little something extra in there for you. I'll uh, sprinkle a little, little beard magic on it so you get a Zion for uh, free 99. KJ says plush is big right now. Yep. I love plush. It's, that's one of the things I work in like the most is plush. Um, so I love plush. Uncle B says, what? Do you see some of Dana's? Jimmy say, what? <laughs> Uh, let's see, Dana. Hey, C D, you have a good one. A bunch of X's. Squeaky chair alert, Pittsburgh. Have you ordered your new chair yet? If not, what are you waiting for? Yes, I, I actually was going to uh, film a video on it, but let me upload the videos in the stream yard, or not videos, but pictures in the stream yard, and I'll give you guys a spoiler on it. I did, I did order the um, shirt, the, or not shirt, the chairs the other day chair i should say not chairs and nate actually is going to make a couple little shekels off of it because i used an affiliate link for a chair that he bought too so me and nate are going to be twinning even chuck norris says thumbs up <laughs> all right so here's here's what i paid so the super chats i had were roughly in like the 150 like a little bit more range so that was kind of where I was looking for the chair. So this is exactly what was spent. Um, I haven't gotten the super chat money yet, but I figured that'll just kind of be a reimbursement for it. Um, and let me show you the actual chair that I got for that hundred and fifty-four dollars. It should be in between May second and May fourteenth, I think they said. So this thing is pretty pretty awesome. I got it on Amazon. It's this. Uh, red it it'll actually like kick out like so if you want to recline you can it has a nice pillow for your back and it has one for your head too so if any of you guys are interested in getting a new chair nate has an affiliate link for this one so if you were planning to get something similar to this um nate can drop a link in the chat for you guys that way his he'll get he'll be able to get a little bit more uh, money to keep his beard freshly lion tamered for you guys because our morning show is brought to you by Lion Tamer, of course. But I, I definitely want to thank you guys because if it wasn't for this community and you guys being so awesome, I would be stuck in this chair that kills my back. But more importantly, you guys would be stuck here in that for like eternity. So you're not going to hear that anymore. And me and Nate are going to get together and do a video of us killing this chair. So yeah, that's going down. That, that's a great point, Lisa. She says malls closed equals plus size clothes very difficult to find. So plus size and maternity will be more in demand. I completely agree. Plus size and maternity. Well, I'm, I don't want to speak for maternity because I don't really I've, I don't know that I've ever really sold maternity. But plus size, I've sold a lot. I've sold a lot because I've sold a lot of my own stuff and it sells much faster than any of like the normal size people clothing. He'll say that's the same chair I'm wanting to get. My chair back is broken. Keeps stabbing me in the back. Oh, uh, sucks, man. 
You're welcome, Paul. You're welcome. I, I really hope that you get his eye on, man. Hope you get his eye on autograph, dude. That'd probably be worth like thousands. Oh my God. <laughs> Mr. Burns. He says, Nate, please wear your sexy pink Puma undies tonight. Smithers is on vacay. <laughs> Just you and me, big boy. <laughs> uh, aren't you glad he's back? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Oh, melatonin does well. I didn't know that. I, I take melatonin every night. It helps me sleep. Didn't realize that was a bolo. So what's up? Cajun reseller asks, ever sell true religion to Brittany? I've sold some true religion. It's, uh, it's hit and miss. Dana's looking for a beanie baby expert. I don't know a whole lot about them, but if you put your question in, somebody might know. I think there's like two beanie babies that are like really, really worth money. I can't remember which ones they are, but it, me knowing the odds of how many beanie babies are there, I was like, you know what? I just, I'm not, I'm not going to try looking for one. There's so many be beanie babies. Crazy. Dude, that's true. Cajun says that uh, puzzles are on fire. I've had so many uh, questions about this Star Trek puzzle I have in my store. And I think the only reason it hasn't been purchased yet. Um, I ended up getting it for free um, whenever I was helping somebody do a clean out a couple years ago. And the um, case is like rusty, but it's still like brand new sealed because it's in a tin. So I think the only reason it hasn't sold is because of the rust. I think they're worried maybe the puzzle's damaged, but it's still sealed. So I think just because the can's rusty, the rust should be fine. But I've had several like messages about that this week. So I want to do a quick quick real quick uh like thing real quick uh anyone who ordered any pittsburgh i'm sorry not pittsburgh uh econ beyond or everyday hustling shirts they are all printed and either already shipped or actually about to be delivered to your house today uh nice so does that does that mean tomorrow we can rock our shirts on the show pause is out for delivery today todd uh flipping hustlers out today minor come in today with yours Oh, wait, so I won't be able to wear it because you're going to have mine. Darn it. Mr. Not Burns, can you give Nate a few hours off work to drive one out to me? <laughs> I'll, I'll, probably just, I'll probably just ship you uh, ship you one. Uh -oh. I got to ship you something else anyway. So. Oh, my computer? Mr. Burns, better give me a heck of a raise. <laughs> Mr. Burns, will you give him a raise so he can buy me a computer? What's up, yeah, Neville? Good to see you, man. What up, Neville? Good to see you. How's everything going on your side of the world over there? I'm glad seeing you around. He was—I know he was having internet trouble for the longest. So I'm glad he. I know my wife sold some true religion jeans before. I don't know anything about women's clothes, though. My wife is like really good with women's. What up, Lynn? <laughs> Kathy said she would time out Mr. Burns, but you know, Anthony's made him a mod. <laughs> I couldn't help it. He, he was awesome. He's Mr. Burns. So Dana is wondering on Beanie Babies, how come when you look up comps on a retired one, for example, some prices range from like 25 to 700 for the same Beanie Baby? Um, were you talking about like sold comps or just like what people are asking for? Because I know that, um, I have a lot of beanie babies that I've had and I have several that I act actually have listed for like more than a couple bucks. Like I have one, I think I've listed at like $212 for like a retired, like frog, little, I don't hops or I don't know something. He's a frog. Um, but that one's supposed to be like real valuable. I, I've had like zero like bites on it since I've had it listed though. Um, but sometimes it, it's kind of like it is with that Disney um, what classic VHS line. Um, some people just ask like a lot more than it's actually worth. Did you freeze on me there, beard? But yeah, I, I, I don't know why it would be that big of a jump outside of somebody just asking way more than the thing's worth. 
That's awesome, man. Mandalorian stuff is super hot. Yes, I can't remember. There was a Star Wars puzzle I had, so really good. Star Wars stuff is like bold. Like if you can get it when it's hot, especially Mandalorian. Like because there were so many people custom making Baby Yoda stuff, yeah. because there was no merch to be found. So like if you had, okay, yeah, thanks, Cajun. Legs the Frog. That that's his name. <laughs> Kathy goes, no, he's blinking. <laughs> That's just Nate. Just sits there stone faced sometimes. <laughs> I think sometimes my glasses, the way it like, sits my face, sometimes it blocks my eye color too. So people probably think I'm not moving my eyes. What are, what are we having for lunch, Veronica? Because I'll be right over. Exactly. Uh, you're a big fan of cooking. I'm a big fan of eating. We could definitely uh, turn this into a partnership. <laughs> <laughs> then when this, then uh, we can get some buffet points. Oh, wait. Wrong shot. Child's on will beat. <laughs> Mr. Burns says, of course, I'll give Nate some time off today. He just needs to do some pro bono fun for me. Nate is expensive since his YouTube fame took off. <laughs> Touche. Mr. Burns, how do you feel about being on the Ecom and Beyond merch? Like, Nate's going to be walking around probably today with your face off. Dude, you should wear that to work. No. Dude, wear that to work. Um, it probably and then is. talk to the real Mr. Burns in the Mr. Burns shirt. Ooh, KJ's making dinner already. Nice. Shredded chicken for tacos. That sounds amazing. Jimmy got them buffet points. Up, oh, yeah, you get buffet points on his show. Tell us. What? Jennifer Hayes is in the house. Good morning, Jennifer. I appreciate you being here. What up? Oh, my. KJ's making shredded chicken tacos. That is amazing. Question of the day is, how does KJ not have a wrench, but Mr. Burns has a wrench? What are you doing over there? Wait, who doesn't have a wrench? KJ. Oh, here, let me pull up uh, YouTube. I'll toss KJ a wrench. Jennifer here. I would just gladly let this ad play on the video while I'm pulling up that wrench. <laughs> Bill Stoner. I should probably throw a like on this video too, huh? Yeah, I guess. If you guys could do me a favor, go ahead and throw a like on the video if you haven't already. I'd appreciate it. Also, if you could hit subscribe if you haven't, that'd be pretty awesome of you. Popping out yeah. the chat. We got wrenches coming out. He's turning into the Tim the Tool Man Taylor, just throwing out wrenches. Yeah, I'll make it rain up in this piece. There we go. Got a full play on the uh, ad. All right. Good. Chat's moving too fast for me to wrench. Ad moderator KJ is now a mod. You have officially been wrenched. Uh, I haven't busted this thing out in a while. So it's kind of good to have this in my hand again. I'd have to. I did give it an upgrade. I don't know if you guys noticed that. It's got the official seal of approval on it. Uh, uh, I'm going to try it for our next auction, man. I think I have the auction bug. Wait, why is KJ still... Didn't I just give her a wrench? Did I give it to some? Oh, no, she's... Okay, there we go. I think that was the last oh. comment before she was in the blue gang. Is there somebody else? Oh, Bill Stoner needs a wrench for sure. 
Yeah. If anyone else is not blue, say something, please. Yeah, it looks like we're pretty blue. Other than that, ATJH Travels. Good morning. Hey, what's up? Good to see you guys. Appreciate you coming in. I'll throw you guys a wrench too. Blue game. Oh, been wrenched. I think I think that's probably everybody now. I don't know if anybody else I've missed. <laughs> Kathy says it's an official wrenching ceremony. You know it. There is. You got a lot to pack today? I pretty much caught up on packing for the most part, but I mean, I, I can list some stuff. Cause you know I'm, how I uh, do. I'm always behind. Yep. Glenn uh, says, I see you have a Facebook page now. Yeah, I, I took the leap. I figured, like, it's getting to the point now where if I didn't get one soon, my, my wife would probably, like, be overrun with, like, <laughs> people trying to hit me up. So I figured I, I would take the leap and go back into Facebook. I haven't had a Facebook page for, like, three years. So. What up, Grounds Fans? Hey, Justin. Good to see you, man. We were just talking about you earlier. Appreciate you being here. Football is well down there yep. in Texas. Guys, make sure you guys are sub to uh, Justin if you aren't already. Grimes Finds, one Does of the finest YouTube channels in all of the interwebs. The sword blockers and just amazing, amazing person just in general. Yeah, he's definitely the man. Thanks. I appreciate that, uh, ATJH. They like our new uh, green screen setup, Nate. Thank you. Yeah, we're trying to get a little bit more polished with it. I have my new webcam in today, so my computer actually will be set up tonight. So the show on my channel hopefully won't be buggy or anything. Everything should be fine-tuned. might have to run a, a quick live stream tonight just to check it out, make sure everything's smooth. Hey, see you, Mr. Burns. Thanks for uh, stopping in, man. Nate will see you at work later. Thanks, Jennifer. I appreciate you dropping Justin's link. Right, Cody? There, there, believe it or not, there is... Well, surprisingly, there are still people that need to subscribe to Justin Grimes. Yeah. It's insane. There's, there's the occasional one or two stragglers who just haven't had the opportunity to... Yeah, we, we, need, to, we need to get Justin that silver play button. I, I feel like he fully deserves one. The, he'll be there. He'll be there in no time. I I, I believe Justin's going to be the type of channel to get that golden play button, that one million subs. Kelly says Nate's shirt is close in color to his background. Almost looks like he's a floating head. <laughs> Something other than uh, other than my normal black hoodie, I went with the blue, navy blue. <laughs> but yeah, you're definitely right. Yeah, I should switch my background. I almost ro wore a royal blue shirt today, but then, like, if I did that, you wouldn't have seen me at all because I have mine set to a blue screen instead of a green. We'll go a little more one way. <laughs> uh, so you, you just tend to be leaving the uh, the e and Beyond studio. Like, you look like you look like you're in the pastor's study now. No, this is my listing area. That's your, that's where you list. Okay. Uh, see how organized it is. Got my new corners back there. My new lap, new, new desktop. <laughs> oh, a computer right over my uh oh right over here it's for you to help me list see uh i see what up frank I, I can definitely do that, Justin. Give me a minute. <laughs> so, Nate, what do you have going on today besides work? Work, and that, honestly, that's it. That is it. Work, and then I'm going to list some stuff. And, um... Yeah, just really, uh, just get really good trying to get caught up in listing and everything, honestly. Yeah, it sometimes it's hard to uh, 
stay caught up in that. Yeah, it's like it's like impossible. Like it's like me. a never ending grind for the most part. Yeah, it's it's so hard for me to like just keep everything exactly like on par. It just it's never gonna happen, basically. Unless so like, I work full time and then I can actually put X amount of hours towards it so it kind of grows the same speed roughly. Yeah. What kind of stuff have you been uh working on listing? Uh the videos, game stuff for sure shoes uh i got some really nice clothing that i haven't listed yet which i'm gonna go list here tonight probably mm -hmm. i just don't feel like having to pull out the uh the um the mannequin gotcha so you're not the only oh dude you, you bit off me what? Technically, we both bit off Grimes. <laughs> now we're both in Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> it looks different, but it's really like the same. I got my door open, though. See what I mean? This picture is way more high def. I mean, yeah. I'm in the real Playhouse, bro. I got to get out of this Playhouse. It's, it's too fuzzy for me. Here you want me to give you my, warehouse, my Playhouse? This is a good Monday one since Mr. Burns is away over here. This is where I gotta go later today, folks. See Mr. Barnes. Uh, a ATJ H travels wants to know the magic word, Anthony. What's the magic word? Rambling. You mean, like from the playhouse? Rambling man. Oh. <laughs> <Long of the day. laughs> yeah. The magic word is thrifty. Cool. <laughs> That's a good magic word. AT, uh, ATJH, they're from Pittsburgh as well, Nate, I believe. Oh, really? I, I believe so. Fishing and picking want to know if you got a new ride, Nate. No, not yet. I got a, I'm, I'm email, or I'm in back and forth text with the dealership. They need my VIN number to give me, like, a, I guess, a roundabout trade on my car. And then we can kind of move forward with the other paperwork. So it's a it's a weird process because everything's online right now. But hopefully soon, because I don't I I got to get this traded in before it, it breaks down on me. For sure, if it breaks down on me like it probably gets cut in half the value, which it's not a bunch of money in the first place. For sure. Is it weird that now that I feel like I'm sitting in the Pee Wee Playhouse, I want to go like play and jump on that chair behind me? You better watch out for Pee Wee. Man. Like that's just like weird. Like Pee Wee sits on that thing's face. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna show you guys something real quick. Oh. I'm on its way. Are you going to show us the man behind the curtain? No. There's definitely no man behind the curtain. That would just be weird. Looks like Mr. Burns is peeking out from behind the curtain. Oh, God. You bringing him into the playhouse? I got Pee Wee and the chair. <laughs> nice. Are you putting that in the auction or are you listing that on eBay? Does What's he have a pull string? Oh, yeah, that's the demonic one, huh? I gotta, like, hold the string. If I hold the string a little bit, it actually sounds good. But since, since we're talking about Pee Wee, I figured. <laughs> Justin says, the chair has a name, sir. I had both of those. <laughs> that's awesome. I can't you take easy, uh, ATJH. Appreciate you being here. You guys probably will see a Pee Wee maybe next uh, auction. I got two of them. I got two pull string ones. No one's coming in to watch you pull on your Pee Wee, man. Listen, man. You always got yes. <laughs> Fishing and picking says that uh, Pee Wee looks like a younger Burns. <laughs> that was when he still had a full head of hair. 
Knowing Mr. Burns, he probably had a chair to talk to. Uh, Brittany says, when's the next auction? The next auction is going to be on May 7th on Nate's channel. It's yep. going to be epic. We're going to have some good stuff. Are you, are you getting those turtles from your neighbor? Uh, I haven't seen her in a couple days, but uh, she was working on it or going to go down and get that. <laughs> I, knew, I knew someone was going to say something. Prime <laughs> said he's got two peewees. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, Justin Grimes will be on Flippin' Hope tomorrow at 2 p.m. You guys want to come out and check it out? Get to hear about all the awesome things that the Lord has done in his life. I'm really excited for uh, for that opportunity. So that's going to be epic tomorrow at 2 p.m. <laughs> Cody says you might want to see a doctor date. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've been a lot more beyond today, huh? Than the whole ecom. I mean, we we went beyond the studio to I, the play <laughs> out of this random building. I don't yeah. know what's going on. I'm about to get arrested. I better get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I definitely I definitely appreciate all of you guys being here. It looks like we still have 50 in chat. If you guys could um, just smash that thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. Definitely help us out. Um, D flipping particles is getting ready to go live at noon. So we always uh, remind everybody to check her out. Uh, we also uh, remind everybody about uncle B. Uh, he's at one o'clock and uh, Aaron best offer queen is going to be his special guest. <laughs> yeah. Justice says we normally end up in outer space. <laughs> Absolutely. You come and beyond. beyond, beyond. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're out there. Definitely in the land of Buzz Lightyear. But I, I appreciate you guys. We are going to go ahead and shut it down for the day. Um, you got anything releasing today, Nate? Uh, no. Uh -uh. It's going to be pretty much the work day for me. Work day and then list, list after the work day. Hope yeah. I get home on a normal five hours or whatever. Yeah. I'm going to probably do a lot of listing today just because of um, the stuff going on with the house. Can't have the cat up there running outside and stuff. So... Me and him are probably going to be trapped in the basement for the foreseeable future. So mm -hmm. I should get a lot listed. Get that money. Yeah. I think I might list some cards today. because so I got a bunch of new cards that I opened that need listed. The only problem is some of them could potentially be in a giveaway. So I got to be careful with which ones I put up and which ones I don't. So How many views but, on Jordan cards are? What's that? How many views my Michael Jordan cards have got I put up? Brock. I don't know, man. I, I sold, I think, three or four Jordans this weekend. Yeah, I, I'm actually going to take them upstairs as soon as we get off occasion. That's one of the reasons I wanted to uh, end the show a couple minutes before D goes. is just so I can get him fed, take him to the bathroom, and bring him back down. He's not a happy boy. Nice. Did When are you releasing your unboxing video, Johnny? I've been meaning to ask you that. So I've wanted to uh, I want to help share that for you. But... Um, Again, just a reminder for you guys, we are going to be on Johnny's channel this Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern. It'll be me, Nate, and Kelly Hip Flip and Mama. Uh, it's a really cool collaboration show that he has. Uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, please do. He's has some really uh, big time names on there. So uh, it's always an honor to uh, go and be on anybody's channel. You know what I mean? So appreciate you thinking of us, Johnny. But. Um, Guys, we definitely appreciate you, and we will see you all tomorrow morning on Nate's channel at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You know it. Get Go out there and make that money, guys. <laughs>